All right, so what's up, y'all? Again, this is the real DJ Red, and today I will be showing you how to get Serato to show up in your OBS. Uh, if you haven't liked any of my videos or subscribed, might want to do that right now. I got a lot of information that I can share with you. Let's get ready. All right, so over the past few months since uh, we've all been locked down and stuff like that, there's a lot of DJs that has been doing live streaming on different platforms, um, including this one. Um, but once everyone started updating, uh, let's say Serato or updating controllers, um, especially with the, um, let's say the Pioneer DDJ SX3, the Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT. Um, they've noticed that uh, OBS is not reading the Serato like it probably was with an older controller like a SX2, um, SR, and what have you. Um, <clears throat> the way that you get it to recognize or get OBS to recognize Serato you're gonna open up your Serato, and of course you gotta have your hardware plugged up, um, and this is just for demonstration purposes. Um, running a uh, MacBook with a i7, um, but this should work with pretty much any uh, laptop, whether it be Mac or PC. Um, what you wanna do is open up your Serato, make sure it's plugged up to the hardware, Go into your settings. First thing you want to do, the bottom left corner here, and um, forgive me for my cursor not, uh, or the mouse not being seen on the screen, but in the bottom left corner where you, you see it says check for updates, you want to click on that and make sure you have the latest version of Serato. Um, I'm not sure the latest one. I know it's 2.4 point something or what have you. Make sure that you have the latest version for Serato. With that one there, um, it would allow you to be able to play with the 1000 SRT, the SX3, and the Rain 1 controller as well. Um, so you want to make sure you have the latest version of Serato. If you look in the middle of the screen here, normally with the older version of Serato, you would just have the USB buffering for the uh, latency and stuff like that, and that's what you will be able to adjust on there. Now it gives you the option to, and the first box is to use your laptop speakers. So yes, you can play Serato, and it comes through your laptop speakers um, if need be. I mean, that's that would be for something if you're practicing at home or whatever, and you want to keep the volume down to a minimum, you can have it coming through your laptop speakers. Right up under that, under you can see it checked there, just like my voice just went out real quick. Um, you would have to check this box here to make the audio visible to other devices um, such as OBS. Um, in order for you to do that as well, you would have to download and install the uh, Show IU or the I showed you, I'm sorry. You would have to download and install that. That program runs in the background. Uh, once you download that and, and have that installed, um, you would check the box. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna go through the process of download again. You would check this box. Once that is checked, you can come out of there. And let me pull up my OBS screen so you can see it. And bam, now it's on OBS. So I'm going to go back to my menu real quick. And you can see it there with the split screen. I'm going to uncheck it. And I'm just, hmm, I'm going to just hum, uncheck it. Then I'm going to check it back in and you'll hear my voice go, go out and come back in. So, hmm, hmm. Oh, it's still on. Hang on. There we 
we go, it's back in. Okay. <clears throat> so that's that. Now you're able to play music and what have you on there. And that is basically it. Um, so that's how you get Serato to be recognized in OBS. And once you do that, then you're able to stream, you can record, um, <clears throat> you can pretty much do anything that you want to do on there then. Um, but that's basically it. No. If you got any questions or comments, please leave your comments down below. If you haven't subscribed to my page, I really appreciate it if you do thank you to all of my new subscribers as well if you like the video if you got any questions or anything like the video give me a thumbs up um you got any questions or comments you can leave them down in the comment section and i usually get back to everyone within a reasonable time and if i if it's a little bit complicated to explain with me typing it i'll just do a video for that as well so i appreciate y'all um i'm up out of here thank you <laughs>